Hi everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and this is a new episode of The Change Log. The Change Log is a show where I take you through some of the app updates that I think are most exciting. This is a special episode because this is the first time I'm doing an episode about an app that I did not use previously because I didn't get value from it. And this update has actually given me enough features to make me buy into the new app. So I spent $10 today on Bartender 4, which just came out. Let me walk you through some of the features. So this may sound trivial, but the biggest change for me is something they're calling Quick Reveal, which lets you hover over your menu bar to bring up Bartender. So all of your icons are here, and when I unhover, they all go away. Previously, you had to click this button, which worked, but was just a little too much friction for me and made it seem more trouble than it's worth. This new method is much quicker, and I like it a lot. Additionally, if I go into the bartender preferences, I can see some settings here. Uh, there's the setting for the delay, so I can set more or less of a delay for how long I want to hover over the menu before items show up and disappear. Uh, but I want to go to menu bar layout, which has been modified from the previous version. So you can see things that are always shown. I have Fantastical always shown because I like seeing the date and I like being able to join my meetings very quickly. And then everything else is hidden and new menu bar items. Like if I install a new app, it goes over here as well. Uh, but you can move these around like you used to. They've added spacers. So you can see I have a space between my system settings and then Fantastical. So I have a little extra space to make sure I always hit that right. Uh, that's really nice. Um, you will also notice a feature for Big Sur. I'm going to go back here for a second. Uh, there's some spacing options. So you can use Big Sur's default spacing. You can move them to how Mac OS used to be spaced in the menu bar. And you can have no spacing if you want to take up as little room as possible. That's really useful on laptops. If you just want to have a ton of information shown, you just want to take up less space. Another really cool thing they've added is something called Show for Updates. Now, this makes it so that certain things like airport, battery, time machine, these will show up dynamically in the menu bar based on what happens. So I have battery set to not display in the menu bar, but when I'm on battery power, I do want it to show. And I can edit that to be very specific so I can say when I reach a certain level, less than 22% of the battery, then I can uh, have it display in the menu bar or when it reaches a very low level, or when I set it to a specific charge amount. So that's really nice to see. And then it's not just Apple things, you can add your own. So anything you currently have in the menu bar, you can set up a custom rule to have it show up. So for example, maybe I don't want to see Creative Cloud all the time, but I do want to see when there's an update. So I can click on this and say, create show for update. And then it's going to say, okay, when should I show this? Because it has no idea when to show this. And so I can show when item is compared against a saved image or when script returns true. And so the script returns true is actually writing a script, which I don't know how to do. So I'm not going to do this, but I can do compare the image to what it normally is. So right now, this is what the image is. And so I know that Adobe Creative Cloud shows a red dot when there's something uh, that you can act on, like an app update or some sort of news item. So I could say when it does not match, show it for 15 seconds up here and that'll be kind of like a notification i can set it for as long as i want uh, but yeah i can just have it show up there and that's great uh, this is really really cool so now when i save this i have creative cloud show it when it does not match this one for 15 seconds uh, so that's really really cool you can find other uses for it any app that shows up in your menu bar can work like this so you can get creative with what works for you then the final thing that's pretty cool is they have a quick search option. So you can set up a key shortcut. I have this set up and then I can just go through any of the things that are in my menu bar and I can even type them. So I could do paste bot, right? And hit enter and that'll be effectively clicking the paste bot icon in the menu bar. And so that brings up whatever it does. I can get out of it and it will disappear in a second. So that's really nice. Um, but yeah, you can use this keyboard shortcut to pull up any of them. Uh, I could pull up bartender four and that is that. But yeah, it can simulate clicks. You can find things in there quickly. It's kind of like a quick launcher sort of thing. It's pretty cool and I really like that as well. Uh, to go into that, you can go into your bartender preferences, go to hotkeys and you can see I have that set up here. So I can hit this keyboard combo at any point to bring up everything in my menu bar. That's really, really nice. I'm a big fan of this feature. And all of this, I think, comes together to create an app that's more useful for me. This app also, or this update, I should say, also brings support for Big Sur. It brings support for Apple Silicon Macs. So there's some other smaller features here. You can check those out. I'll leave a link to the update page in the description. But yeah, that is it for this episode of The Changelog. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>